Before we jump into the actual code, I wanna take a quick detour and go into our tools. And these are gonna be the tools that we're gonna use for this course. We already saw that we can download the files and use those files in VS Code, which is what I'm gonna use. I wanna give you a couple of different options. I think VS Code is the way to go, or if you're using something like Sublime Text, WebStorm, Atom, any of those are really great options. And I like that you can have the files on your desktop because that is going to mimic how you would work in a day-to-day -day basis on real projects. Let's talk about ways to code. So one, you can download the files, and two, I think is a really cool option as well. And especially if you want to test view and maybe test out a couple different ideas that you're working with, you can go into CodePen, codepen.io. And here, if you're not familiar with CodePen, it is an online code playground. And what we can do, I've already logged in up here. You can see what other people are working on, really cool stuff. And this is really fun to come to visit to get inspiration about any current projects, upcoming projects, or if you just wanna be inspired by some cool techniques. Here I'm gonna to go to create new pen. And we have three boxes here, HTML, CSS, and our JavaScript. And once we start working, we can say div, hello, and close that div. And immediately it shows up in our little playground here. Now, if you wanna use view, you click this little settings button. And here you can bring in any different projects. You can write about your code pen. Down here under quick add, we'll just add view, which is somewhere in this list view. And now we have access to view, save and close. And also under CSS, this little settings here, you can bring in whatever CSS framework you have. And Bulma is on this list, Bootstrap 4 is on this list. And that's a really good way to use your CSS as well. All the code that we do in this course can be done within CodePen, or if you want to do it locally on your desktop, on your computer, and then maybe copy it up and put it into CodePen just so you can show it off and share it. That's another way to do it. CodePen, one way to work. Really fun to mess around with. And two is our local editor, which is VS Code and Sublime. And that's what we'll be using. We'll be in VS Code. Now that could be the end of this lesson, but I want to take it a step further and bring in another tool. And this is totally optional. You don't have to do it. What this tool is going to do is every time we save inside of our code editor, it will automatically refresh our browser. So this is a detour. Keep in mind, you don't have to do this, but we're going to go and say optional tools is something called light server. Now to do this, you're going to need Node.js. We're not using it to code up any node. We're just going to use it as a tool to work with this project. So if you don't already have Node installed, you can go to nodejs.org, download Node, and install that for your computer. And then we're also gonna need a command line tool. So if you're not familiar with the command line, what we're doing is I'm gonna open up my command line. It's called Hyper. If you're on Windows, you can also use the command line and just type in CMD. And if you're on Mac, you can just use the terminal as well. This is my custom setup. If you're interested in this, I can build a course out on this. And I've had a couple of people asking me about it, so maybe I'll just do that already. But once we have Node installed, you can say Node-V and hit the version. And we're on version 6.12 here. And no, that's a little bit older of a version. Now to install our project, we're going to say npm install dash G, which is global so that we can use light server across our entire computer and just type in light server and hit enter. It'll go ahead and install that. Now, again, this is totally optional only if you really want to uh, get these cool tools in there. Now that we have light server, we'll clear this out and I'm going to close this. We'll go back into VS code, close that, open up our file explorer. Now let's see light server in action. I have here an index.html file and I'm gonna open up the VS Code term. And again, if you wanna know how to use all these cool things in VS Code, check out the Visual Studio Code course. I know we're moving a, a lot of things around here, but just remember, totally optional. We'll say light server. And what this does is it's gonna look for an index.html file and it will open that up in your browser. So we'll hit enter. It goes ahead, opens that up in our browser, 
And here we have our code. So I'm going to split this to the right. I'm going to split this to the left, close the terminal. And the cool thing that light server brings us is as we start typing and I hit save right now, it immediately refreshes the browser on the right. So a very cool tool if you're working with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, really good if you want to work with any project, really, it doesn't even have to be a view project. But this will be our main setup. We're going to have VS Code on the left. We're going to have our files that we downloaded from GitHub here. We're going to have our terminal inside of VS Code using Light Server. And that's going to open up Chrome and show off our code here. And I'll delete that, save that. Look at me go, save. And immediately it refreshes. Very, very cool setup. All right, that is our tools. That is our files. In the next lesson, let's finally get to writing some view code.